Mary the Peasant Poor Mary sang on the streets of medieval Paris. She was a poor peasant, but she had dreams of singing in the king's castle. However, her parents were serfs who worked the land and they told her that everyone just does the job that their parents do. They scolded her for trying to become something different. But Mary kept singing on the streets, hoping that the king would pass by and hear her singing. Unfortunately, the king was a very busy man, so he never passed by Mary, who continued to sing and sing. She never saw the king. At this time, the French king was completely focused on fighting the English in the 100 Years' War. But Mary did not lose hope, and she continued to hone her singing skills. One day, another young lady by the name of Joan of Arc passed by Mary as she walked to the castle. As she walked to the castle, she thought, that is the most beautiful and inspiring music I have ever heard. Finally, Joan of Arc met the king, and they discussed the war with England. The king stated that he knew Joan of Arc was a saint who was sent by God to defeat the English soldiers in France. And so he asked Joan of Arc to lead his soldiers into battle as an inspiration. But Mary's music continued to linger in Joan of Arc's mind. So after her meeting with the king, she asked Mary to join her to inspire the French soldiers. Mary agreed to join Joan of Arc, so Mary hopped on a horse and joined the other soldiers. When the other soldiers saw little Mary, who was a serf, who was a serf, join them, they all laughed. One knight yelled to Mary, You are so small, I could break you in half. Why do you think you can help us defeat the English? Mary said, I don't have to prove anything to you. You will see my strength in battle. Joan of Arc overheard Mary's conversation with the knights, and she told everyone, Mary is very talented and has unique strengths. Come with me, Mary, and tell me more about yourself. Mary heartily agreed and told Joan of Arc her plan and then went to execute it. As a small serf, Mary could easily go undetected to the English camp. She also knew the English language, so she pretended that she was one of their cooks. Once she started cooking their mill, she dumped a lot of laxatives in their mill, creating a widespread case of diarrhea and dehydration across the English army. Now Mary knew it was an opportune time to attack the English army. She raised her voice and sang, Attack, attack, attack the English army. They are not ready. Diarrhea fills up their suits of armor. Yes, this sabotage was performed by a per poor farmer. Brown fluids flow all around me. Hurry now before the English return home to their tea. Attack, attack, don't turn back. Joan of Arc heard Mary's song, so she ordered the French to attack. The French army charged into battle, inspired by Mary's singing. They destroyed the English army, and Mary became a hero, just like Joan of Arc. After the battle, the knights gained an appreciation for unique strengths and the arts. Now Paris and all of France continue to highly value the arts as an integral part of their culture.